Greetings and salutations, my name's Xenogard. Have you ever wondered why games like Path of Exile and Diablo 3 and ARPGs in that genre are like very appealing to play repeatedly and for, you know, hours on end, thousands of hours on end actually. And the answer to that question is it's it's a power fantasy, it's power scaling. It is creating the most broken builds that you possibly can create and wiping out tons of enemies on the screen at a time, building up, you know, your equipment and your your character to just just make absolutely insane builds. That's like that's the whole essence of those games. There can be a ton of systems on top of those things, but in its purest form, that's what you're doing. So that is what games like Soulstone Survivors and Vampire Survivors and games of the genre are really tapping into in my opinion. It is just this absolute crazy wild ride of building up a character and then just seeing that character absolutely demolish the entire screen with particle effects everywhere. We're going to take probably an extra dash here but I'm going to just go for bigger AoE. I'm just going to we're we're going to attempt to get all bombs. That is that is the goal of this run. We're going to go big bombs, big explosions, projectiles everywhere. We've got a little bit of a range here. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah. Games like these are essentially tapping into the purest form. We're gonna bomb barrage of what makes those games fun. Like sure games like Path of Exile have like a passive skill tree and a bunch of different gems and skills you can unlock well these games have those as well they don't have a, a you know a passive skill tree this one kind of does it has like a meta progression skill tree but you can substitute the the poe skill tree or like diablo skills and stuff like that for the choices that we select during the run i mean this mortar shot and bomb barrage they are our skills and as we level up we get passive skills that we continually improve over time we're gonna take multicast here like i said in other videos it is a boiled down distilled version of those games and that is what makes them so fun and the fact that they are so simple and able to damage increase on our bombs yes please we're going full bomb we also need some movement speed we're a little bit slow and i would like to to survive yeah it's the absolute distilled essence of those games and that is being able to only have, you know, 20, 30 minute run is really nice. It's almost like playing a, a really juiced up map in Path of Exile. I have a ton of experience in Path of Exile. I have like over 6,000 hours in the game. I have many, many more thousands of hours of content watched on the game. I have like over 4,000 hours in Diablo 3 and just I don't even know how many in Diablo 2 and Diablo 1 and just a ton of other ARPGs that are on the market. I've played pretty much all of them, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of those games. These just huge power scaling, power fantasies, just wiping out hordes of monsters. Like, the only thing that these games are kind of lacking, that, that ARPGs very specifically... Alright, what do we want to take here? Build Ballista. Build a Ballista. Fires bolts at the nearest enemy. We're going to take the flame wave for now just because it's a burst. I don't want the other ones. Yeah, the only thing that this this game or games like this are lacking are like the really like the inventory system items that customize your character just a little bit more. We don't really have that specifically, but I don't necessarily think we need it. That Things like that are just kind of like facilitating character power in a different medium. So... So we're gonna go with cast speed modifier here. I'm not gonna, not gonna talk about the choices we're making too much yet. But yeah, no, that, that's that's my opinion on on these things, and I I will stand by it, and I will, you know, I will debate, will die on this hill. I will debate people if they want to debate me on it. But I think I think it's a pretty apt comparison. Uh, we really need help, absolutely. It is like one of the main things we need currently, so I'm going to go try to find some of it. It is a little hard. We need to stay distant from enemies, but we don't have movement speed. And I don't know if we were offered it at all yet. Oh. I feel like our damage is lagging. Alright, well, we got the boss kill here. We're going to make our way towards this health crystal over here. 
Napalm Blast? I like the idea of that. Are we all fire right now? We're bomb and... Oh, no, nah, we're just bomb. We have a little bit of fire. Well, well we're going to take the Napalm Blast. Bombs and fire. I mean, the two things go hand in hand. All right. Got we healed up, so that is very good. Dodge out of the way over here. Try to get all this experience and go get the thing the boss dropped over here. I mean, that's about all I have to say about the, the ARPG comparison. I may, I'm may, i kind of tempted to take the armor here, just so we can survive a little bit better. Maybe more AoE here. We'll increase the modifier of all bomb skills. Yes, please. All right, more bombs, shrapnel bombs. Yeah, let's go with the shrapnel bombs. Again, all bomb. Ooh, this is like a huge level up. Probably multicast here. And then from here, cast frequency. I mean, definitely. And then from here, what else do we take? Meteor, maybe? I mean, I'm going to probably take the Meteor for now. We might replace it for, you know, bomb things. But we've got fire and bombs right now, and that's pretty, pretty neat. Increase the area modifier of Shrapnel Bomb. Let's go. Um, Now, crit damage modifier. I'm going to take the number of dashes. <laughs> we have an extra dash here, so we can at least be a little bit more mobile. I mean, other than an equipment system, like what... What really differentiates those games? And I'm talking about not not the actual well, the actual gameplay, in my opinion, is very similar. Like we're we're casting a bunch of abilities, we're attacking a bunch of enemies. It's kind of like what the games are all about. But what other like systems are not in place? And really the only ones that I can think about are essentially like, I mean, I guess effectively a passive skill tree, although I would make an argument that we have one. Maybe not a skill tree per se, but we do have passive abilities it, and they are like randomly offered to us as we're leveled up. I guess randomly being the key word here. Hold us down a bombardment at your- well it is bombs, but we also got suction bomb. I'm going to take the suction bomb first actually. We're going to replace it with I think probably the flame wave. Actually maybe the napalm blast. Well that's a blast. This is a burst. Maybe over the, the Meteor. Meteor does a ton of damage though. This is Burn and Stun. I'm gonna put it over the Napalm Blast. Nope, we're gonna put it over the Meteor. Meteor has the least amount of things in common with us. But I, I, I don't know. Like, what do, you, what do you guys, how do you guys feel? Have you guys played a bunch of ARPGs? Would you agree with that, with that assessment that I have, have made here? I feel like it's a pretty apt comparison in my opinion. We might take the health here. But yeah, like I said, like, uh, the only thing that I can really feel like these games are lacking are, well, one, long-term character progression, obviously. There's, you can, you can make an argument that the, you know, meta progression is very similar to that, and I think that's a, that might be a, a decent argument, chaos bomb. Or explosive trap is also a bomb, yeah, you can you can make an argument that that is the case. I think explosive trap here. Do the flame wave or the napalm blast. Actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the napalm blast. We're almost full bombs. We're getting very close. We're gonna grab all this experience. So and maybe all our attacks will burn now. I think we'll do something like that. And then we're just going to increase the AoE as much as we possibly can from here. Suction Bomb. AoE and Damage is now the name of the game. Not going to worry about crit. Maybe we'll focus on crit like a bit later. But for right now, gonna, like maybe aim a little bit closer towards us. I don't know if there's like a minimum distance that this needs to attack from. We don't need health, so I'm going to keep that there for now. We're going to try to get all this experience over here. But yeah, no, I, I, I'm very curious to see other people's comments on that comparison that I was making. We're just going to take power-ups here. More spontaneous combustion. More burn gents. Burn everything. Burn the world. We're going to we're gonna watch the world burn at this point. Fighters, I don't like it. I'm going to try to attack everything. Maybe cast frequency here. Bring our cooldowns a little bit lower. All right, I think now is at the point where we need to start paying attention to the game as much as possible. Increase the damage of Flame Wave. I don't want to. I want to replace Flame. I would like to replace Flame Wave 
with another bomb. And then we're just full bomb. I'll probably take Faithful Strike here. I don't want to waste an upgrade. I'd really like to unlock the rerolls and the banishes. We're working towards it. We're still very new to the game. Feeling like I probably should have played the prologue a little bit more than I did. I would have some of this stuff unlocked here. I'm kind of tempted to take the chaos bomb now. I don't know if there's like another bomb. I believe there was like one other bomb I might have wanted. But yeah, we'll take the Chaos Bomb, we'll put it in place of the Flame Wave, and now I think we're set. We'll replace the Chaos Bomb if there's a, another bomb type that sounds more interesting. I think there was at least one more that I remember seeing. Now we're going to focus on all of this experience. Every time you attack, apply a stack of Dazed, there's a chance to burn as well. Do we apply Dazed at all? We don't currently, but maybe we don't take that? Uh, go with the spontaneous combustion. I don't think we apply days at all, so it doesn't seem prudent. Increase area effect of bomb barrage. Yes, please. This guy is uh, out of the way. All right, we're gonna go back in on him in a second. What the heck? The snakes on the plane. Okay, okay. Bombardment. Oh, we can call down a bombardment. Oh, uh, I might do that over over the chaos bomb. Although this does a negative effect, it's a random negative effect. All right, I've thought about it. We're replacing the mortar shot with bombardment. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. More AOE, please. Oh, get out of the way of that. All right, all right. So chaos bomb. I mean, I guess so. Increases the area mod. I just wanted to keep... The reason I took a bombardment is I just wanted to keep this... Potentially, the negative effect could potentially be very good. I'm not sure. Maybe that wasn't right. Maybe we should have kept the mortar shot. Anyway, I guess we'll find out. All right, we'll take the chaos bomb here. Very much like some movement speed. Oh, anyway, if you are enjoying the content on this channel, please give the video a like. It helps out immensely. It boosts the video in the YouTube algorithm and lets other people know that it's as something good to watch, and I would appreciate it very much. Let's let's go ahead and you know, get out of the way of this guy. Okay. Need more experience. So damage increase, I think so. I mean, I'm tempted to take the area, but this is just a straight up damage increase right now. We're gonna take that. We're gonna keep. Actually, I'm kind of tempted to replace the explosive trap. Now that I've seen like what it what it does, I have a very clear visual indication of what it's doing. I don't really like it as much. I don't really like it as much. Maybe I should have kept the mortar over the explosive trap. The main reason I was keeping it was because of the burn. But replace these choices. Uh, well, then I think here we're going to do area. Keep trying to scale things up. I mean, maybe the maybe the the traps are not too bad. Really hard to tell at the moment, to be honest. But backing up, backing up again, sticking with the plan of just ball bombs all the time. We're gonna scale the area up as much as we possibly can, and try to like effectively make the entire screen just one giant bomb. I mean, that sounds fun to me. So this is what we're gonna try to do. Get some of these as well while we're at it. We're already getting there. I mean, look at that's that's some crazy, crazy particle effects going on. We just need more of it. A lot more of it. I think we're going to take ooh, all checks. Oh, I mean, we're gonna take that. If we can't, if the game won't give us like movement speed, then we'll just slow everything down. Ooh, explosive shot. Well, that's a blast, but it's not a bomb. We have all bombs currently. We're just going to stick with the bombs. Place choices, please. Suction bomb, yes, please. Explosive trap. That's a damage modifier. Every time you apply a stack of doom, apply dazed as well. We'll just do the explosive trap for now. I don't remember if we're doing doom or not. Bomb barrage? I mean, yes. Yeah. Let's go with that. Sounds pretty, pretty good. 
more more stuff more stuff no thank you here shrapnel bomb more damage don't worry about the block for now just just nuke everything absolutely literally dropping a bomb on the entire screen that's that's the, effectively the plan oh, gonna gonna take out this snake guy because he is being a pain absolute pain all right here we go Keep me dodging around backing up all right all right all right this is this is i need i mean i feel like we're doing okay we're like 10 minutes in taking things out pretty effectively we have a ton of experience up here so we might as well go get it Ooh, increases the damage of frontal by 40 percent I think, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Eliminate Alfred the Falling King. Gonna do, gonna do our best. Try to focus everything on him. Keep, keep at a very short distance so we can, can dodge out of the way. Very, that was, that was so fast. All right, increases multicast chance of chaos bomb or damage modifier of bomb barrage. Well, I think we're going to honestly bomb bras is probably better here i would like to multicast the chaos bomb though i mean no, we're gonna take the multicast on the chaos bomb i thought about it for an additional couple seconds and i, I like the idea of throwing out m multiple things maybe we get a couple different negative effects on everything but replace our choices here and expansive big bombs big bombs all the way Big bomber guy. I mean, I feel like this is I feel like this is pretty good so far. I feel like we're doing we're doing better than I have been with some builds. I've played the game a little bit. Probably like an hour or two off off camera. Just to like start gathering some, you know. Just start unlocking things, gathering some resources so we can upgrade things later down the line. Stuff like that. Have some of the passives unlocked as well. Working towards, working towards getting the the vanish and rerolls. Every time we apply a stack of days, fifty percent chance of burning. I don't think so. I kind of want to take magnetic here, but I'm gonna take the damage increase. I'll, I'll take magnetic. Next time we're offered it and there's no like damage right around us. That we got knocked into a wall. Thank goodness there was uh health right around the corner. Alright, guys. All right. Like back off a little bit. Please. Get out of the way of that. Just where did you all come from? Very suddenly. Alright. Dip our toes into all of this experience, please. Ow. Please no. We got a ton of experience over here, so we're gonna try to gather all of it. I really would like movement speed, please. So very slow right now. Le I mean, it's legendary and it affects everything. I should probably read what it does though. Increase the area modifiers of all of your physical by 50%. I mean, that's insanely. It literally affects everything. So good. All right, we're. I mean, we're taking it. Absolutely. Even if we had the choice of speed there, I would have taken it. That's, that's so many things. All right. All right, we're getting a little, a little crazy here. Oh, we need this health down here, so we're going towards that. What is this death beam that is wrote? Like, what is this absolute death beam that is coming towards me right now? We got fully healed. Thank goodness. Ow. Where, where is this thing coming from? He's, I know he's up here. It was a rhetorical question. I do know where it was coming from. I mean, coming from in the sky. More of what I was talking about. Go. Just circle strafe as, as well as we can do. Dip, dodge, dip and dodge. Doing very, we need to get a little bit closer. 
All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? I'm kind of tempted to take the health right now, just because our health is getting a little low. We might have to just keep da dashing here. Just circle strafe and dash. He's so close to death. We need to just we need to sit up here so he dies. So we don't so we don't die. That is that's the plan. Anyway, there we go. He's dead. Got everything here. Increases area modifier even more. I mean, yes. Yes, please. We, we need to go for health after this. Increases the damage of bombardment. Yes, please. All right. Area is getting very large. I like to see it. Just big, big area. Bigger, always better. Bigger number, better person. So, what? <laughs> this is... I mean, it's effectively, like, at least 50% of the screen, if not larger. Oh no. Well, we absolutely need to find help, like, immediately. Get all this experience, please. All of it, as much as we can. Try... There's, there's help up here. Thank goodness. Is there more help anywhere around, please? I mean, there's a, there's a pretty effective heal. Still would like more. I don't feel comfortable at our in our current state. I mean, we're doing a ton of damage, so we just kind of have to focus on doing that, I suppose. Not fast enough. I mean, I still feel like our damage is lacking somehow, and I don't exactly know how, because we took... All we took was damage. We basically... That was the only thing we focused on. So, we need more of it. We need more of it. Everything's getting so tanky. So very tanky. Alright, what can we take here? None of that. More burn, shrapnel bomb, or the fiery orbs. Would that, like, protect us from being hit? I'm gonna take the area modifier on the bomb. Although, maybe the burn, but... Area modifier on bomb. Bigger bomb. Big bomb. Go. Alright. Can we find some health, please? That is what we need. Doesn't seem like any has spawned on the map, or else we'd be... The game would be pointing us in that direction. Oh, please don't die here. We have one more void boss to kill. I would like to do that, please. If we can. There's, there's a lot of experience we have left on the ground, so we're gonna head in that direction. Try to get as much of it as we can. Unfortunately, we don't have like a passive heal over time. That would be really nice for people like me. Oh my god. My computer actually just lagged. All right, we have final, the final boss spawned here. And we have some health up here. We're gonna try to grab that as quickly as we can. All right, a little bit of a heal. All right, dodge out of the way more. All right, let's see if we can find ourselves one more heal before we like straight up go in on this guy. We're not, we're in an okay position, but we're not in the best position. And I would prefer to be at in a better position if we can, if we can get it. There's also a ton of experience around the map that we can collect. We'll try to do that. Oh no. Please back away. Back away from the giant monster, please. Maybe we do have to just go in on him. Increase the area modifier of shrapnel. Sure, sure, let's go. Effectively destroying the entire screen. Maybe not destroying, no. Blinding. Blinding myself from the entire screen. That is, that is realistically what we're doing here. Ton of, ton of experience down here. Can we get a level up? Can we get a level up? Very close. All right, this guy's right here. We're gonna do our best. Oh, nope. Are we dead? Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We tried. He was so close. So close. He's still dying. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Gonna back to the menu. Uh, the video has already gone long enough. I think we're going to leave it there. I have a ton of fun with this game. I was playing it for like a, I couldn't stop playing it for the couple hours I was playing it off camera. I figured I might as well do some runs on camera as well. Anyway, my name's Menzinogard. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you. Okay, bye.